What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Railroads Online, and uh, today, Heist, we're going to the Iron Mine. It is gonna be, ex wow, those trees just totally blocked my camera. It just ruined the That's, shot. Ruined you know, it happens. The whole take. Uh, how's it going? I did some smelter work yet again. I, I, I can see that. The, the lineup looks a little different. There's an extra track down there. Yeah, I was like, I took your, um, I took motivation from last time you were like, you know, the smelter is like its own industry, and then I was like, well, the way we had the main line tying in before, if someone was managing the smelter and, you know, trying to shunt stuff around, they would actually interrupt the main line flow. And I thought, well, that's really stupid. So I separated the main line out, and you'll see we'll get to a point where there's like a switch off to go into the smelter. So now when we actually start to do some smelter operations, uh, we can manage it as its own inventory with, uh, you know, with that, what was that engine, the 060 or whatever. So yeah, the class 48, we got to get it. I'm excited. It should be good. You say it was Dude, a coal I... hauling freight place? Like it was mainly used for freight? It wasn't long distance hauling or it was both or? Well, the class 48 originally when built was like, it was supposed to be a yard goat. Right. Which is the slang for, you know, the, the engine that hangs out around the yard and, and switches cars out and builds trains and, and uh, sometimes would switch out the shop too, you know, and if you got a broken locomotive, that kind of thing. So those little wheelbases make it really good. and. Uh, you know, no leading wheels or trailing wheels means that it may not have tracked at high speeds as good as something like a 240 or a 260, but all your weight's on the drivers, which means you can tug at just about anything around you possibly can. So I'm assuming really that means they the shake yard. more too then, right? Like they, when they're... Yeah, less stable. They, have, they hunt more as they go down the railroad, which is the kind of side to side dance between the rails that the trains do. So yeah, you'll see here, uh, the main line's really far away now. You could just, we could do all sorts of shunting operations at the uh the smelter loading up iron's gonna be fun because we have to load it up on you know a single line and then reassemble the train yeah, that's gonna be cool yeah we used to tie in we tied in like just past the loading dock at the yeah the like right episode, here so. and then you know i thought it wasn't really acceptable uh i'm gonna pull the reverse or more does it it feels like we don't have fire we don't have fire okay we well, even have fire but your safety valve's still going so you have full pressure so you know it should be fine Interesting. Yeah, the fire was 366 degrees Celsius. There we go. Perfect. That's how that works. <laughs> sure. Yeah. All right. Now we're hauling the mail. Uh, yeah, so basically, we just keep going along here. The main line's just kind of off on its own. You kind of have to loop all the way around the smelter, which is... You know, it's a bit unfortunate. It's a, kind of an extra length of track to do, but it is also, you know, 2% or less, so it kind of helps to... The name of the game yeah yeah and when around. we have long trains it means like you're literally going from this to that main line right above us but i mean you know it should be fine um and then here we get to the tie-off section so uh let's just slow this down a bit but here yeah this is where basically we would switch onto that siding and once we're on the siding then we can drive all the way down this siding to the very very end and then back the train in and do our smelter operations and then of course if we're leaving we push the train out from the smelter with the engine in reverse uh, which we can do with the turntable there. We have brakes tied, by the way. Do we? I'm yeah, gonna... we're slowing down. Like, we've the been boost is on completely, yeah. It's oh, fine. Oh, okay, good. We've just been driving <laughs> Just with been the wearing brakes. down the brake shoes. It's fine. Yeah, no, it's Tender's fine. Good. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I don't know how they do this in real life, but I figured, you know, having this extra siding turnoff would make more sense because now we can, you know, we pull off onto the sideline and now we can completely operate the smelter without ever interrupting the main flow of trains through. That's perfect. If That's we ever perfect. needed to. Yeah, the, the whole premise behind operations like this is that you want to make sure that the main doesn't get fouled when you're switching or when you're going to the industry or anything like that. And this is a really great setup in order to kind of operate the industry as its own thing. Because a lot of industries, particularly smelters and steelworks and all things like that, actually had their own railroad and own employees. And so it would just be like an interchange service. So one thing that we could do, which would be fun to try out, would be to have you know, a road job that would bring in the cars for the smelter, bring them into this passing track siding, have their road engine hop off and go on to its next assigned duty or go get serviced at the shop and then then have the smelter's very own 060 come and service the cars and do everything at the smelter itself and be a switch job. Right, you were and saying I should was, uh, I should change this out a little bit, right? You were like I think I think that would be neat if you did. If you add a switch there, okay. we could put a head shunt in, which is really common in British railroading, a little bit less so in American, but definitely a neat way to operate this. If you put make this a crossover just like that and give us enough space to park an engine right here, 
we could know, you know, hey, if there's a train coming into the smelter, we could bring the yard goat over, park it in the head shunt, and then when the train comes in, the road engine comes in, drops the cars off, it goes around back onto the main, goes where it's going to go, and then the yard engine can come in, pick up the cars that it's already stashed behind, and move them on into the smelter. All right, so, so a, this a should just be setup. like a little... Maybe a hundred foot of track, maybe. Just oh, enough so... to park an engine out in the clear, and then, a, and then a buffer, and that'll be great. So something like basically like that. Yeah, that's plenty. And yeah. then we put a little bumper on the end of that. Yeah, you cut down those trees. Perfect. So we got a little, little head shunt, and that way as well, we got a little bit of extra room so to use as a drill track. So if the uh, if you're pulling out a huge line of cars from the smelter for some reason, we probably have enough siding. I don't think we'll actually use it. But if you were pulling out a massive one, you could back yeah, up into I, this Yeah, I literally drill built this now. siding. Um, there's this huge flat section we're in right here, if we look at the map. And then I figured the Iron Valley keeps going up this way. Now, ideally with this setup, you know, it would be nice if we could somehow tie the coal into this same valley line at some point as well. So, like, everything that's iron or coal is always going down this same main line you know what i mean I think we could probably do that i think that's very doable yeah we might have to do some crazy mountain climbing at the iron mine to get to the coal mine but i feel that's like fine we could make some cool track and that way this is just sort of the only main line but yeah this is uh that's the siding i laid out basically just because there's this huge valley here and it'll be super cool to um to do some proper yard operations you know we like last time i played through this game everything was a loop you know it was always loops everywhere and I feel like this time we should do stuff more more proper. Like with the iron mine, it would be straight sections of track with a turntable and like little shunting areas, you know, and and trains to hook up. And we, we're we're not going very far. Uh, but we're not. I can see the end of track up there. I figured it'd be funny if I went and ran into the end of it, though. Yeah. Well, you know. Um, okay. I think you're gonna just, you're just gonna kind of bonk a little bit here. Yeah, that's how Dunk. physics works. There it is. All right, that's a very strong end of track device. <laughs> yeah, uh, you might want to you might back up. A, a oh, you got to delete it now. I'm gonna delete the end of Lord track. Lord knows, in the past, you've uh, deleted plenty of track out from underneath the poor monster. I don't know what you're talking about. That's clearly <laughs> operator error. Oh, you're what? You somehow you actually derailed. Oh, we derailed the tender. All right, I get to pee in a cup. That's All right, well you can fix that. It's um, fine. So it's today, still rolls. Heist is gonna actually try and. Um, kind of navigate a little bit so we can make our way down this valley we're gonna try and keep it like you know at this grade so we don't go down anymore yeah we um, don't want to go down but if we could keep it at this height till the very end and oh. then just climb all the height at the end i think it'd be fun all right what kind of bridge would be used here to cross this river what would it be something small and wooden it would be you know, either one of the wood options most likely because the steel bridges are really for really tall kind of viaduct looking things Right. It's looking is, like you can come up on the uh, on the right side of the bank, cross the river, and then just stick on that right side, I think. This looks actually Whether really, really pretty. Uh, this looks bit so cool. Up. I've actually not built track through here yet. I so never have either. Be a this, fun is, one. this is so nice. It's so flat, dude. Like, it's it's unbelievably flat. Yeah, I've, I've I'm actually never... I'm at 0% grade, and the track's just, it's like perfectly, it's just perfectly placed. I've never been in this valley before, actually. I've, I've only ever laid in the far valley for the coal mine with the other river. Right. Or uh, up past the other way out the smelter. So this is a new one for me. Okay, it's looking like you might have to get a little bit closer to the river up here because there's a bit of a raised piece, but it should be wide enough that it well, should work. Maybe you, you might now. have to do a, a small section of... Um, Actually, you can come help wall, me. Maybe? You can help me chop trees and bring the train up too. We might as well. We're not going to delete this. Like we could easily, okay, bring sure. the train forward. Once we start doing the uh, the bridge work, that's when it, it gets questionable. And that's when gonna... it gets really, really up there. Yeah. Yeah. This is a beautiful valley. Wow. This is actually really nice. Are you Are you running back to grab the train? Uh, yeah, I, I am. I am. I'm just. Okay. Leaving, you you run back and grab the train, and I guess I'll I'll continue surveying up ahead of here. I'm curious if this valley is going to dip down before wait did you rerail it you didn't even re i'm not even i don't even care you know what that's your job i don't it, know why uh, I'm... i didn't rerail it and you know it was rolling just fine so you know it's fine we can scar every tie okay real life though way. yeah this would destroy the ties right yeah like, the ties would be obviously <laughs> obviously oh, wrecked with oh the it of the popped flange. itself over the track onto the other side now it's still derailed but it flipped that's um 
That's uh, a little interesting. Oh, oh, now it derailed. Oh god, we've derailed the majority of the engine. Oh, and the caboose, but the caboose sounds and like the... you derailed it, not we. Oh no, derailed the caboose it. derailed itself. Um, Khan's got a peanut cup again. Okay, this is but I'm this is very laggy. The caboose keeps derailing and re-railing itself. This tender's not having a good time. We should probably just re-rail the uh, the entire thing, is what I'm hearing. I think you want to run it pretty straight till we get relatively close to the river, because I think you're gonna have to shoot the gap through here. And then because, you know, we're going to be good civil engineers on our railroad, I think we want to change to the stone wall when we get kind of close because you wouldn't want the river eroding your ballast. So you'd use some kind of retaining wall as you got close. So, like, I would go up to, like, here. I feel like this yeah. groundwork is actually going to form the river if I do it this way. Like, this is, oh, my God, yeah. Oh, it might. You might not need to if it just, like, gets right there. Oh, no, you're right. This would This would totally just wash out immediately <laughs> uh i don't know let me, let me put it down and i'll get your expert civil engineering judgment this is what it would look like yeah that's that I would, would wash you out would be right? changing to it you, you, would, could, you could see so where the fast. river disappears into the... yeah yeah you, you would absolutely do a some kind of you know embankment right there rather than so just that's a, uh, i used these a lot when i was playing on my previous save to use this for any mountain pass like stuff on the edge of a mountain right yeah uh, but more commonly, this would be used for, like, road, like on the edge of the mountain, how would they do it? They would just dig it into the rock. They wouldn't really brick You'd it up. you usually dig in. Yeah, you wouldn't build out. You'd dig up. Although there were cases where they did build out, you know, the shelf and then put a wall down. And that's actually what this is modeled after. This specific actual stone wall is modeled after the cobble wall at the Alpine Tunnel on the DSP and P, which we've talked about a couple times with the way car and everything. Uh, they had a ridiculous tunnel at the top of their alignment called the Alpine Tunnel. Uh, and they only had it open for a very short time because the railroading through there was extremely Wait, are we harsh. Staying, are we going so right high, or left? So. You're demolishing trees on the right, but. I was thinking we would continue to the right unless you want to cross over. No, no, that's Again. fine. I'll just try and make this more gradual if I can, maybe. I was thinking we would try and like, this is a decent shelf through here. Okay. I don't know how much of a, I guess that S bend could get worked out a little bit yeah this, oh, this s bend go. is a little bit squirrely it doesn't really need to be that i guess we got to get around this hill it's not too bad of an s bend it doesn't look like from here no it's pretty it's pretty gradual um like the curves are all really gradual you can always work that out later depending on how it drives yeah, with it trains should be should be fine fine enough for the little choo choos we got do we want to bridge or do we want to try and hug a little bit further to the right over here and then make the bridge be a little shorter? We can do that. Is that could, you're that going a little crazy cool. on the tree demolition. You're already making multiple paths. Although I guess trees will respawn when they make a new season, won't they? And then it'll do that update. You know, I'm not sure. Because <laughs> isn't that what <laughs> used to happen so. whenever it was like, oh, it changed to winter then and they changed all the trees. Then all of a sudden they all respawned, except they put like a buffer on your track. And they're like, we're not, yeah, like they didn't spawn right. within X distance of track. And we are certainly coming up upon winter time. Yeah, hopefully. I feel like there's going to be snow soon. And <laughs> we better get our, our building tree. done first because the, yeah. uh, the white on white contrast from what I recall last time with was the ground. Awful. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was so hard yeah. to deal with. Okay, so really pretty, I can go so. to like here. Okay. Um, yeah. like that. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good size fill too. Okay. That's so then, that is holy cow! That's an aggressive fill, actually. But anyway. We could, well, if we could get a little tighter, it would be a little smaller. But yeah. Yeah, but then way. the problem is, look at look at straight off the end of the railroad. There's a freaking rock right there. Oh, I guess I can I can make it tight. Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. We can make a tighter radius and then tighter earlier and then yeah, and then yeah, do the you. reverse curve sooner i can get to here with less fill now actually it looks like more proper nice On yeah a that's straight line good but then i'd have and to then go if you, from here straight you across keep, and then turn it i think if you can keep up by the rock and then like maybe another 200 feet from where you're at change to a bridge and then do a left hand turn and like a big left underneath. sweeping left turn big sweeping left turn bridge over across. this valley yeah, I think that's the move. All and right. then we're going to be kind of canyon walling it a little bit through here, I think. No problemo. So we're just hugging this cliff now? Now, so this would be brick foundation, you're saying, to hug the cliff? Or would it be... That would be probably the most accurate looking thing that we can do in the game. Rather than, uh, you know, 
bridging it everywhere. Big, big fills are bridging it everywhere. I've got a ghosted one out and it, it'll look pretty nice because the texture blends in with the rock pretty well. I can't believe this is 0%, dude. We've gone up from the smelter. It was 0% at the smelter and then we went up like 1% for that one section just to climb a little bit. To stay on the and edge. now it's, this has just been flat the rest and now of the this way, is flat. and the river has just disappeared. Yeah, this is zero percent, and it's still like this high up. That's insane. Oh my god, where we're oh we're just gonna keep going to the right. Okay, I think we're gonna. I mean, so we could cross over if you want. I don't mind still sticking to the right. That's cool. Yeah, okay it's, with that. it's a little tough, I think, because oh, you know we'd tall. have to really find find where to put it. You know, you have to have the right How low? Height. I guess here's the question is, how low does this fill go? Wow, dude, this is insane, actually. Holy cow. Oh, I'm... Oh, bye. See bye, ya. Bye, Con. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> Insert Mario sound effects here as you yeah. fall to your death. Well, if we want to do... It has to be a bridge. The fill is not deep enough. Um, okay. So it'd have to be a metal bridge is where it's at. So I Gosh, guess it's up yeah. to you if you want to... If you think we should cross... Well, I guess we can stick on this side for a bit anyway, and then and then make our way. I think this side's going to be a little bit easier coming up shortly. Probably. Dude, we're like, this is like the edge of death on this cliff. Like, holy, look at this view from down here. Like, <laughs> Definitely. I can't believe this is 0%. That's awesome. Like, we're going to be able to haul super huge trains up this pass. No issue. At least to here. At yeah. least to here, yeah. <laughs> Once we get to the iron mine, it might be a... How, how story, low are but... we, though? Like, the Iron Mine's not that far up, is it? Uh, it's pretty far up. Remember how long my 2% line was? Yeah, but were you? did you start at the smelter? You did, right? Yeah, and there was a brief stint of nothing. Why is there a bridge support here? I don't know. I don't see one. There's one on my end. I'm ghosting right now. Is it, are you seeing? Oh, the... that's probably what it is. You're somehow seeing the ghosted one? Oh, God. I don't know why I'm <laughs> Some weird that. ghosted spline bit. Yeah. yeah, you might have to do a slight curve or spiral in to start. Yeah, I'm gonna and start then curving go into a little the... bit earlier here, and then yeah, because that's that's definitely a piece of of railroad design is to spiral into the perfect curve. So you slowly increase the uh, the radius or, or decrease the radius until you get to one constant radius curve, and then you increase on the way back out. I think personally, the steel bridge in this game, maybe not the rest of the bridges, but the steel bridge should just have infinitely long, like super long members. Like why, why can't they just be like a thousand? You know what I mean? Just to make as big of a ridiculous bridge as possible. Yeah. Like the other ones, yeah. you could be like, okay, here's your height limit, whatever. But it's like, you know, why can't I just be like, screw it. I'm just going to go crazy with this one. It would be fun. Definitely uh, would make more sense if it was like a cost aspect. So it was like, okay, well, I've got lots of money from, you know, all of the polished turds. So, uh, you know, I can afford the giant bridge. Whereas yeah, exactly. you, you, you little people down there, mm -mm, you're going to have to use wood bridges everywhere. Perfect. Well, there it is. Look at that. Wait, is that, am I still doing down a percent though? I think, uh, I think that bridge, question. that whole bridge was down 1%. I want to go back to even. <laughs> yeah, try and make it flat if possible. Yeah, yeah well, I don't want to, yeah, I don't want to be climbing on that. You climb, yeah, like, right before be... it and stuff, but there we go, yeah. back to zero. No, and now it won't let me do it. Really, it does have to go down. It's got... <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. It's literally too tall at 0%. Cruel irony. Oh, right, I'll, like... I'll make it a percent down and that'll that'll be that. Yeah, I guess it'll you're... be easy to remember where the grade is. It's yeah. the bridge. Once you're on the bridge, you're uh, you're going for it. You're just I can't believe that. That's that's the difference in that must be like, you know, a foot. I see what you're doing. We're going to we're going to do a 90 degree turn and yeah, we'll pick well, up the engines and cars yeah, on jacks no, and then do I another 90 degree the, turn. I just the main bridge curve needs to end up here, not over there, cuz otherwise yeah. we're going to hit the mountain. So, yep. oh my god, this valley, dude. What the heck? Yep. It's uh it's a little incredible. How are we even going to we're just going to go across then again, right? And um or do you want to keep I, left? I don't know. I guess dude, there's I guess no we know way that we we're can cross bridging now. this whole like the bridges aren't going to be long enough. Right. Oh, bye. Oh. <laughs> Oh, get back up. Fine. It's fine. I didn't die. I think we I need to go up more. We need to go up more to figure out. Nope. I wanna okay. I wanna make it across this terrain. Oh my god, this is amazing. Ah! <laughs> Welcome to wow. Falling Down Cliff Simulator, 1895. Holy cow, the iron mine is way up there. 
Yeah, it's I think the coal mine's taller, but yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a climb. If we go to that right side, look at how that right side goes down low there. Right. And then yeah. it's got like that flatter area below the iron mine, which is where all the helix nonsense will be. Okay. To get back up higher, you know? Yeah, I've I've run I've run up both sides, and yeah, you could definitely I, I think dealer's choice. I feel like get sticking on this left side. Well, we could try it actually. It might be tough to get a bridge wrapped around here, but let's. Uh, yeah, right here it might be easier to to go across again. But I'm yeah, sure. let's just you know what? Let's just snap our fingers though and let the future con and heist you know solve this problem. And I, I think that's a good idea because we're gonna have to spend some time engineering this. So. And then in the magic of editing, it'll just we'll be like as soon as I unsnap, we'll be riding a train on the fully completed route. So. Dude. I think that's genius. Isn't that amazing? Like, it's crazy. Uh, We're dude, not even gonna have to do anything. Magic, like, it's just gonna be like two computers. seconds. Like, ready? Just, all right, let's go. Pinned it. All so, right, high ball. Bit of a disclaimer. I promise, I promise we built the railroad the entire way. Oh, it's well, done. you just yep. ruined mm -hmm. my disclaimer. We did not, we did not build the railroad. We did not, we did the not entire, It is very long we, we to got, the iron mine. Um, we've learned some yeah. things. We did. <laughs> We yeah. did learn some things. We learned many things, and, and I got kind of better at circle mode trampling. And it wasn't on camera, which is for a shame, because none of you will believe me. Yeah, Heist actually <laughs> made some smoothish, smoothish track. It's kind of nice. Smoothish track, yeah. Um, so anyway, we learned that there's a problem uh, with this particular route, which is we're at 0% grade right now. And as you can see, the valley is slowly dropping away from us. Now, keep in mind, there are very small sections where we go down at 1%, just because we had to be able to keep in contact with the valley floor. But other than that, we're pretty much at zero, and the sections that are 1% are very, very small, all the way to the helper station. And you'll just see the issue. When we get to the base of the iron mine, we're still, what was it, 67 meters below the iron mine? Yeah, yeah right. pretty much. It's ridiculous. So Huge at 10%, it would take almost a kilometer of track just to climb to the iron mine. And that's at 10%, and we have a Montezuma and a Betsy. Yeah. So... So... Long story short, you probably shouldn't take this route to the Iron Mine. But we did build a helper station-ish. And, um, you know, we kind of got there. And we you'll, you'll see the situation. We sort of learned that there's some problems with the height. And that's why we figured, hey, we'll show you guys the progress so far. And then have you comment in the comments down below what you think the solution is. But honestly, it's probably going to be like 12 hours of track laying off camera just to get this to yeah. work. Yeah, that's, um, that's just the reality of the iron mine. It's a yeah. challenging industry to lay to. And with the new update, you can't lay floating bridges anymore. So it makes it even harder to get to because your bridges actually have to have supports in the ground. They actually have to do the real thing. Yeah. Yeah. Which, hey, I, I'm all here for it. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, this makes it hard to makes yeah. it even harder to get there. <laughs> Yeah, so you can see quite nicely here, we've got this nice snaking path. Keep in mind, we're still at 0%. Um, I believe yep, this- we have not started climbing yet. No, this steel bridge here, this is where we go down a little bit at 1%, just because this bridge is actually too high off of the valley floor. Um, so we had to go down here just a little bit. Literally, 0% it didn't work. Minus 1 it did. Yeah. That close. But this is the only spot. And then after this bridge, like, yeah, there you can see it's, it's, we're way high up. But after this bridge, we go back to 0%, and then we get to the helper station, which is super nice, where we'll hook up, um, a super powerful engine we don't have yet. Yep. And drag we'll the have train to up. acquire that. It's fine. How many times do you think we're gonna have to run the hill if we do eight cars of planks and beams? Oh my god. We're probably, I haven't done the math yet, but we're probably only gonna get like two or three cars at a time, even with the two engines. So we'll have to run the hill like three, four times. It's it's fine. It'll make for a fun session. Doesn't that mean we need like a, a switch off area at the helper station? Yes, we need a place to dump the rest of the train theoretically. <laughs> I mean, in real life, if we were using the helper station properly, we wouldn't because we just pull out a Heisler, hook it up, and go. It precisely. Right. Uh, you can pull. This is the helper helper station. So as you can see, and we got the switch here and a little turntable. Right leave leave the little work train right here. Yeah, perfect. So we'd, we'd pull into the helper station, you'd go into the engine shed, you'd fire up your Heisler or whatever. We should have a water tower here as well, I guess. We should, next to yeah, the... we gotta get some more servicing facilities here because you would have to be ready to tackle this, the hill with sand, water, everything fully loaded because the, the kind of hill that we're about to run up 
you can see the track that I started laying down from the iron mine way up there. You can yeah, see some of the bridges the up above us. And, then there's, and that's there's, at like a minus six and a half percent. And yeah. it's still that high above us. Wait, we would need, despite we would need coming sand all the way over there, here so. too. Oh, shoot. Yeah. So it's going to be, it's going to be a pretty significant climb. And so, you know, you hit a grade like that with a real train. What about fuel? I guess like you would need all of the fuel. You'd need all of the water. Montezuma with this tender running up a grade like that. Mon oh my god, you just kicked everything over everywhere on my end. Montezuma is now flipping. It's no, fine. No, it's it's here. It's, it's uh, uh, client-side railroads online leads for good thumbnails, so, um, is well, what I'm learning. Hold so, on, if we if we have like a fuel... <laughs> would it, if, but in, Okay, in railroads online term, the only fuel depot we have is the firewood depot facility. Yes. Right, which is very large, Yes. Um, as we can see. So realistically in real life though they wouldn't they would just bring fuel up here like they would come up here with like a, a storage train dump a load of fuel so like yeah so for like for wood i mean they would they would have an agreement with someone who had wood or had trees on their property you know like a farmer or a rancher or a someone yeah that would live around here and then they would leave wood at the side of the right of way for the railroad to pick up but in the era of coal burning engines, they would have a coal dock and some poor dude would have to shovel coal out of a gondola onto the dock. And then when the train came, would shovel coal from the dock into the tender. Very manual so, affair. For the purposes of but, what we're doing, I guess, we could have um, a Heisler or whatever up here or whatever else, a couple engines. And when they start to run low on fuel, we could just bring up a train and dump fuel from the tender into there. Yeah, we could always just use the, the tender of another engine if we really and, needed yeah, to. Yeah, as, sure. as a fuel resupply train. They really need a fuel car. You should have a fuel yeah, car. Yeah, uh, some place to like actually store wood that you'd use for firewood, which yeah, I mean is what Yeah, because then you could load up a fuel is, car but, and, and yeah. deliver it to locations. Because that's what, like up here, I feel like it wouldn't make sense to have a whole firewood cutting depot. you just have you, the fuel you'd just storage have a car. Place. Yeah stored away or something along the side of the engine shed heck that would be a great use for the engine shed would be like just a rack a, f a, sh a shelf on one side with firewood i True. mean then we could just dump it all in so yeah i think yeah. I, I don't think i'm gonna build a firewood depot here but we'll have to put like sand and water for sure i forgot about sand yeah. oh it's got to thematically be totally right because you would need to have full water full sand full everything you just knocked the montezuma down the mountain in my uh, client side there's it, nothing it's because the it's because i'm holding a facility and it has collisions <laughs> client side but not <laughs> But not, not host for side. the host. So Montezuma's very derailed right now. It's oh my fine. god, dude! A sand house is huge too. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a. Fun but job. sand is what you would critically need. You'd hit this with no sand. You would not be having a good time. I mean, this is. And a you serious need sand like back railroad. here on the main line, right? For the because the main line train would fill up with sand as well. Like yeah, the, precisely. Yeah, main line would fill. So we could put it back here along see, with the water you could tower. You know? like put it here with the water tower. Yeah, we could. We could do that. That would look nice. Yeah. Okay. So we should do that. But yeah, we're gonna have to figure out the helix and the spiral and and everything and up to the, the bridge this. up oh there God. and the groundwork and yeah, yeah. Uh, that's fine. I can. I'm just underneath the railroad. Just Dude, don't run anything it's over. Just, it. It's I'm just. It's just. I'm When when it rains, you know, you can come we're, we're, just chill under we're here. We're load bearing. Yeah. yeah. So we yeah, we ballast. were uh, we were recording and we were like, oh, we'll make it to the iron mine in a single episode. It'll be fine. We won't have to do any any work off camera or yeah. anything. It'll be. And then we got to that point where the bridge yeah. is up there. And yeah, we're still so, down here, and choo choos don't fly. So still a lot of ways to go, but I'm excited to see how it turns out, and I'm more excited to run trains on it. I hope you guys think so too. Yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. This is gonna be. I now we gotta make so much money because we need some engines. First, we should put a, a shay in here. Just have a shay as the full as the original puller. I, I guess if we feel like just you know listening to Foghat slow ride the entire time, sure. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> it'll be it'll be bad. It'll be it'll be very bad. But yeah, it should be good. Let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, check out Heist's channel. Link in the description, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.